Hey guys, this is Mandeep and uh, quoting this during the live uh, market, it is uh, almost uh, 11.45 Pacific Standard Time and a little uh, over an hour and 15 minutes to go for the market to close. Now, one of the things I uh, showed you over the weekend was a scan and the scan was built on the concept of unusual option activity. And uh, we started with a couple of different parameters where we said the call sizzle index should be at minimum two, which essentially implies that this uh, these stocks should be trading at least two x of their call volume, which is uh, which is an average of the five day call volume. So whatever is the five day average call volume today, it's trading twice that level. This was a, a parameter that I didn't have, but I've just added this in the in my code, which is basically saying the net change of the stock is at least 50 cents. So it's moving in the direction I want. And uh, the volume was set to 10K in the original code, and I've changed it to 5K. 10K is fine too. The reason I've put it to 5,000 is that in the morning, it'll be difficult uh, for a stock to have 10,000 contracts in the first five, 10 minutes. But I want to be able to catch the ones that are trading high option volume. Days to expiration left to the 145, which is the same as before. Option type is called. Now, when you run the scan, you have a couple of different options. You can run it as op stocks options or stocks and options. When you run it as options, this is the result that you get. And one of the things you can do is you can then look at the option contract, which is something that is not visible when you sort that by stock. So, you can sort these by volume. And one of the things that you see is names like Neo. You see names like Baba, Freeport, Matt Moran. And uh, things that caught my eye was this sort of theme of uh, Chinese internet stocks that were doing well. And several of them were showing up in the scan. The other thing I saw was also stocks like Norwegian Cruise Line and Carnival Cruise Line that were there. Now, if you sort it by stocks, and run the scan, you get the following names. So clearly there's some interest in material stocks because you see US Steel, you see Freeport Mac Moran, and some of them obviously have fallen off, but you had Norwegian Cruise Line and, and CCL also in the unusual act activity in the morning. Now I have saved these as a scan and I can view them here in this list now. So we head back to the chart and we'll look at BABA. And uh, the BABA trade was triggered here. It's still on. So we'll see how this one pans out. So when you see BABA, you have to look at some of the other Chinese internet stocks. I was looking at Baidu. And Baidu also triggered a buy. Uh, and these are all on the 10 minute chart. And you can see this one's up $3.04, which is pretty you know, substantial for a day trade. Some of the other names I saw were names related to cannabis stocks, which is uh, Canopy Growth as well as, as well as Tilray. And both of them have triggered a buy. Now, clearly, these stocks don't move very much because these are small amount in terms of value. So you know, this is currently going. So we'll see how this one pans out. So the thing that I wanted to show you was that it's extremely important to look at uh, you know unusual option activity, but at the same time also correlate when you see what is the theme that is currently in play today. That was pretty obvious, you know, to me. It was uh, the Chinese internet stock, so the cruise line stuff, and so the material stuff. And so you can see that uh, some of them may still have a buy signal, but uh, don't know because I can't trade all of them. We'll see if this one shows a signal once it uh, loads the data. So here we go. So it has a buy triggered. So it's currently still in flight. So we'll see where this ends up closing. So hopefully this gives you a little sense of how to use this scan. And again, as I mentioned that, you know, you, there are a lot of services that will give you this data. Uh, clearly, there's advantage of those services because they're giving you, in many cases, a lot more information that's a little bit concise. But hey, what you're doing is you're basically sifting through the data and trying to figure it out. But if you're one of those kinds that enjoys doing this uh, level of work and being independent and then making your own call to figure out which uh, stocks really are worth the play when it comes to option activity. In my case, I'm not just looking at option activity. I'm also combining it with this buy sell signal that we have to see the, see the ones that are worth taking uh, a shot at, right? So despite all of this information, you still have to manage your risk on the trade. But what we're doing is we're just basically stacking the probability in our favor 
by also looking at this UTS signal. And uh, this gives you the added confidence because this is looking at a lot of uh, underlying data under the hood, a lot of technical data on multiple time frames. And so this in conjunction with the uh, unusual option activity is giving you trades that have a much better probability of succeeding. So here's another one that this one didn't work and that's fine. This one's currently working. So it adds up 84 cents. We'll see what it does at the end of the day. Again, this is uh, recorded during the live market. Hopefully this helps. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.